today is a very difficult day, and I really don't want to avoid that. I'm feeling a lot of complex emotions right now that I can't really describe, and I know that probably a lot of you are too. I was sitting in my communication and media class at the exact minute when Donald Trump was sworn in to the presidency. We were all sitting there trying to ignore the fact that it was happening. It was hard, and I know that it's probably hard for a lot of people. For those of you who are having difficulty right now, there are tons of ways in the world available to help you cope. You can hang out with friends, talk to a trusted adult, draw, paint, do some other kind of art, read your favorite book, or read a new book, listen to music, watch TV, eat comfort food, just do something that makes you happy. Or, if you're comfortable, you can go to one of the many protests happening all around the country tomorrow. I'm not going to because I know from past experience that that isn't a very good environment for me, but just know that that option is available for you and also that no one will judge you for whatever decision you make regarding these protests. For today though, I'm going to be spending this day working on this video Video, doing some HPA stuff, and above all, going to spend some time with a really good friend of mine. I recommend you do the same. I still feel like it's important that every video I put on this channel has something to do with either education or activism. And so, here is what I bring you today. As you probably know, I started school this week. All of my classes are fantastic, but the one relevant to this discussion is the class that happens to be my favorite, which is called Transgressing the Normal. It's a transgender studies class. Throughout the class, we'll be learning about a lot of complex gender-related topics, but to start off the semester, we discussed the subcategories of the idea of gender as written out in Kate Bornstein's Gender Outlaw. It was really a very helpful lesson, and I think that it will help some of you understand the idea of gender much better. First of all, there's gender assignment. That's what most people think of as gender, and for some people, their gender never changes from their gender assignment. Your gender assignment is what culture says you are. This is this classification of boy or not boy. More specifically, if you are not a boy, you are automatically a girl. Because that's how the medical field works, and now society arguably because of the medical field. Then there's your gender identity, which is who you actually are. I've talked about this a lot already. Then there's gender roles, which is kind of what you do or what your gender looks like. And society places a lot more emphasis on looking right than feeling right. But sometimes, hopefully, these can be one and the same. And a side effect of gender roles is that when you perform something that goes against your prescribed gender roles, you attract notice, sometimes positive, sometimes negative. But sometimes I feel like gender roles are a really good way to express your identity. Finally, there is gender attribution. This is what society perceives your gender to be. This can come from your appearance, your behavior, textual clues like your driver's license, as well as more complex things like power dynamics. All of these things are objectively components of gender, but they all have different connotations in society and it's important to keep that in mind. However, regardless of the connotations, I think that all four of these can be positively used to help an individual express their identity. And so, above all else, it is important to remember to respect a person's identity regardless of their assignment, to allow them to express whatever gender roles they want, and to not let your perception of their gender get in the way of what they tell you. Keyword here, respect. That's about all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay strong, and remember, we are all here together. We are here for you, you are here for us. We're all here for each other. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers.